guys, it's Green DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 11 and 12 of Jobless Reincarnations. It's going to get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. No, I don't think his name's on there. Of course, because, I mean, he's still alive as far as we all know. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, well, this is creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just turn around. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Dang! Watch it be like a dead end for all y'all. Come on now. You don't need to do this. Hmm. 
And then what happens if you all, all teams who all find this damn thing at the same time? What you gonna do? There is no first come, first serve. <laughs> it's maybe killed or be killed at that time. But it's a spider with a human mouth. Oh, okay. And a snake. Time to go. <laughs> and a snake. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. <laughs> but Rudy. It wasn't perfect, babe. Like, <laughs> oh shit! Oh damn! So. <laughs> Bro, your teammate dead, dead. Like he ain't coming back. I was so mean. Oh my god. Rest in peace to him though. Yeah. But you're not thinking rationally. Yeah, I think once you all signed up for this mission, and, and <laughs> they're like, oh, hey, we could possibly die. Mm. Oh, no. I thought they would have at least traveled together. Hmm. 
Damn, someone else probably just died. Yeah, um, can y'all defeat that though? Oh, damn. <laughs> exactly, what do y'all do? Now, look, hold up. Time out, time out. Okay. Half of his. Half of his body was just in that cobra's mouth. That mofo dead, dead. <laughs> like, you can't come back from that. No. I'm sorry. Oh. So I'm guessing they gotta bring like the head back or something just for proof. Cause you can't take a picture of it, duh. Uh. Yeah, I think you got it. I mean, it did, and it got a big hole. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Yeah, because he's dead! Come on now, even I knew that! So now what? It's the fucking horse again. Oh my god. Can this dude just go away? I mean, uh. Fuck you. Kill him! Yes! Pay him now, kill him, and then escape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you say it's gonna be all right, don't say that either. I have a bad feeling. My thing is, you know what? Yep, why didn't you do that? It's day one. Day one when y'all arrived in this city, it would have saved so much time.
close that up real quick. Oh, are we killing them now? Please and thank you. Oh, damn. So, uh, we leave it now? Shit. He's gonna come on out. <laughs> I love these two. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I thought it would come back at least in another episode. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean you know I like that the fact that he's you know accepting the fault of his I mean it just tells you how much he's improved as a person and as a character because something would have told me like maybe the first couple episodes of Rudy Rudy would have been like no I ain't accepting this shit <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not only it takes being brave and courage and stuff, that too, but also heart. <laughs> there are honestly two sides of the same coin. <laughs>
Oh. I didn't think you would do that. But, uh, 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 okay. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks good, but the... You know, once again, I, I kind of wish they would show, like, how far <laughs> they are <laughs> if we had a map. But, you know, of course, progress. Can I just say this episode went by fast? Two, was not expecting the two deaths in this episode and that, that shit to go down because, like, bruh. But, you know, when you're going into a mission like that, <laughs> yeah, of course somebody's going to die. So. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. A big ass lizard. <laughs> Bro, but when they get home, when they get home, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, <laughs> the the shit, <laughs> the shit that they got to explain. <laughs> oh. That's where they're gonna meet up. Oh, oh, well, shut up, 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 shut up. It's happening. It's fucking happening. Let me go back real quick, cause like, okay, no, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, never mind, never mind. Okay, they're meeting up. They're gonna meet each other again. Oh, oh my god. Since it's been like two weeks since I've watched this show, because you know. The, the last time I watched this, I think we were officially into my first week of Hell Week. We are currently in Hell Week Part 2. Um, and yeah! <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's been, it's been a, a hit or hit and a miss some days this week. And it is now 11.44 at night and I'm doing this. And of course, I gotta go to work tomorrow and Saturday. And I am extremely tired, but I was like, I need to do this because today is the only day that I can do this. Um, it's just, it's, I think now it's, it's just super tough, like very tough to try to get stuff done, um, on time when I am working either between five or six days a week and it's just a hassle and it's really, it, it's kind it, is it taking its toll on me a little bit, but not as much as I'm thinking it is, but I'm just, I think the only thing is I'm trying. I really am. I'm trying my ass off so that because I don't want to postpone anything for another week and piss people off and stuff for it. Um, but yeah, the episode was good. Like I said, it went by fast. I, I don't. It, it felt like that to me. Like I felt like I only watched like I spent five minutes watching this, and I'm like, damn, we almost done with the episode. But like, I do love the fact. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, do you love the fact is one we got to see Roxy in this episode. I mean, yeah, we got to see her in the previous the last couple episodes as well, but to see like, you know, as her concern wondering if Rudy and you know, 
um, his family are okay, or, you know, they're possibly dead and such, we all knew no, and thank God we got, like, some kind of thing, and then Paul doing the letter and such, like, oof, oof, but then it makes you, okay, here, here's my thing, and let's go back to when, um, you know, when Rudy was training with, uh, both of them together, but, um, it is and whatever it is, and the, <laughs> the, the the beam of light took them away to where they are now. Um, why? My thing is, hello, Cody. Um, why didn't anybody, you know, at that time, the parents, it is parents specifically, hell, even her grandfather. Nobody didn't want to make a certain, like, hey, we need to do something. My child is missing. My granddaughter is missing. Hello, we need to put an APV on these kids and such last whereabouts like we can't be like cops up in this like because you know because of <laughs> of the times of this but they could have done like something i'm guessing they did have search parties and stuff to try to look for these kids and they're still doing it as of now but like something kind of tells me there there's always a point where it comes to in the crime series that i've seen and um or even the crime documentaries <laughs> the crime documentaries that I've watched where sometimes like the parent kind of gives up or the person who was doing the searches like tells the parents like oh hey you should just think the words for them and that they're never going to return and such and maybe you know it is his parents has possibly thought that about her and thinking that she's never going to return but there is going to be a day I hope it comes soon I'm just saying because I really want her and both Rudy to be reunited with their families. So, fingers crossing. Yes. That's all I need to know. Please. Don't. Don't. <laughs> let's not stretch this out, please. Like, I, as much as I love the hell out of this show, because this is a really good show, I, I need this to happen ASAP. Like, g give me my Roxy Rudy ring, and yes, because babies, and I love them together. But to also give me the family reunion, I need it. I think everybody at the time when they were watching the show also needed it as well. But, you know, I think we all got it in, like, different ways <laughs> and such. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. All right, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, God. That's some... Hold up. Can, can we talk about that real quick? That's some rough behind... Well, that looked more like dirt than sand, but it's still a light sand. <laughs> Is she going nude? God, this reunion. I'm ready. <laughs> My body is ready. <laughs> what just happened at like the stroke of midnight because we're already at 11.50 for like time wise if it <laughs> same cat I am so tired too but I gotta keep on trucking sometimes even when you have to like go to work the next day and you're trying to get stuff done you gotta keep going, no matter how tired you are. And this is what I love about my double life. What the hell? <laughs> the
not expecting that on a whatever type of bird animal that thing was, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> do, do you not like the ocean? Do you get seasick? Uh. Hmm. Oh, you just you're gonna... ah! Ah! <laughs> and Rudy, what you got? <laughs> I mean, cause you know, out of the three, you know, yeah, you're, they're more badass than you, baby. Jesus. You sure that's not like a scam or something? -ish? No, 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 no. <laughs> Fool, but we not Jesus. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, he's going to guide you, so definitely listen to him. Yeah, so you should really be proud of yourself. <laughs> oh no, you might take it. I might leave you to Roxy. You'll see.
Exactly. It makes your weakness. Well, makes you weak, but... Oh, there's Roxy! <laughs> oh, we get a close! <laughs> uh, stop teasing me. She's closer than you think, babe. Like, oh. Oh, God. I think so. I wonder when the heck we're going to see her. Her voice is familiar. Yeah, her voice is hella familiar. Who is that? I know her. She was in something that, what the, oh my god, I'm blanking on it. Yeah, that's, um, oh my god, what's her name? I know her fucking name. <laughs> oh my
this child. Which is good, yes. You're the one who bumped in the head, Ash. Oh! Rudy! Well, I mean, she should be looking for you, right? Of course. <laughs> She's still going to try it out. You gotta focus though. Yeah, you don't want to be a little too rough on her. I don't think you're ready for him. <laughs> you might get his ass beat. Ah! <laughs> ah, I can't. Like, come on, that was obvious he was going to get his ass beat. <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, hi. Mm-hmm. 
Do you think it's wise for you to go somewhere by yourself this time of night, sir? Mm hmm. Rudy. Yeah. You can't sell it. So don't sell it. But Exactly. But that's not right. You wouldn't you would be fine with it, but eventually you'd still be upset. Edison will be upset with you for selling it. Exactly. You're not thinking about her. You have to think about everyone, including yourself, not just yourself. Okay, is this how we're going to see Roxy again? Oh, that guy. Why do I feel like he might have a job for them? Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, let, let's, two plus two is four. Let's add that shit up. Okay, because see, now, I feel like now, like, yes, we have a reason to trust, you know, God and such. Because the the first time when him and Rui spoke, yeah, I was a little skeptical as well. I was like, hmm, how is this going to lead him into the right direction and stuff? Because still, you know, in a way, God is only going to tell him, like, oh, a certain thing. He's not going to give him that full answer. He can't, because, of course, that's cheating. So, you know, he's like, he can only guide him to the next answer and such. He has to figure it out all on him, all on his own. It's just like how with us and our journeys in life, you know, God sees what we're going to be as our career and everything, we just have to find the journey and the pieces just to get there. And sometimes it is a struggle for all of us, no matter what it is and such. But that's the journey, isn't it? Now, I feel like this new character, it, it, it also might lead to Roxy. Who knows? It might be something good. It might be something bad. Who freaking knows? But the fact, the absolute fact that you had her in this episode and nothing... <laughs> 
close two times, even though the first time he wasn't there, but twice in this episode. Well, no, three times, because you can't, you, can, you can't really count the other one because he wasn't there. So, two out of the three, like, <laughs> you had to, like, be together, technically, but then at the same time. Like, oh my god, seriously, once again, you're teasing me. You, you're, you're literally teasing me. You're like, yes, no, you gotta, you gotta wait. Like, I know you want this. Like, mmm, I know you want it. Yes, like, guess we all freaking want it. I just want these two to see each other, especially for Roxy, for, like, in her POV, to see how much Rudy has grown since the last time they've seen each other and such. And then I, I just want him to be like, oh my god, Roxy! <laughs> And I'm just going to be, like, crying like a mom and such. Because, yes, that's what I normally do. Cry like a fucking baby slash mom. But, um, was not expecting what's-her-face, that little girl, to show up again. Since the last time we saw her was, like, episodes ago. Um, once again, I still, I, I, I still, I think I know who the voice actress is. Because, of course, she wasn't something that I watched in the previous season. I just literally cannot remember who she played because there's so many freaking animes that I've watched and characters that are stuck in my head and I'm like, bro, who, who is that? Who is it? <laughs> um, but it, it's probably going to come to me at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when I'm about to go to bed <laughs> for the night. But honestly, both of these episodes were good. I, I love the fact that we got to even see more like training time with these three because it's on and off you may get it and you may not but <sighs> oh my god it's 12 o'clock in the morning and i'm sleepy um when you do get it it's good like just the training montage moments and the sparring matches that they get like oof like yes both of these two have grown so much and now that you know Rudy has another advantage. Of course, like, he, he's another little step to being OP as fuck in this damn series. But <laughs> other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 11 and 12 of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Wednesday for everybody else. And next Saturday for, pa nope, yeah, next Saturday for Patreons for episodes 13 and 14 um but until then i will see you guys all next time just remember as i said remember we are going into so probably by the time i think by the time this next episode comes out we will be done with hell week part two and getting slowly but surely getting ready for part three um if there are any little mishaps of anything of something coming out of course like patreons will know firsthand um, you guys will probably either know, like, if nothing doesn't really come out that following Wednesday, just know, or even the Wednesday after, just know that because work and a whole bunch of other things, um, sometimes I am too tired when I come home and sometimes I have to, like, still gather that energy. So, just, you know, be kind on me. Don't be upset if something isn't coming out for a week. It happens. I'm only human. I'm one chick and I'm trying to get everything done as one person who multitasks all the time. But you know, you gotta, you, you gotta take one day at a time. But yeah, if you don't see episodes 13 and 14 by sometime next Wednesday, you should get it the following Wednesday, I'm guessing. And I should be 100% sure on that. So yeah. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.